Okay. In the words of the great Samuel L. Jackson, hold on to your butts. Okay, so we've only I've only taken off the side panels for now. Um, straight away we can uh, see this guy. The drive, so that's obviously loose, that's the common issue. Where's these loose screws? Oh, look at all this. Look. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Let's uh, let's gather up all these pieces, these loose bits. Okay. So broken plastic to be expected. That's the rails and two screws. That actually looks like the same screw you get on the Game Boy. Okay. So I have actually removed all the screws from the back, apart from the AV one. Now I'll tell you why. Um, looking at Spawnway's video. I don't want to mess around with too much underneath here. All I want to do is get to that drive because I think that's that, that the main issue to resolve before trying to turn this on. So I think I can take the top without top off without having to mess around with all of this. So I've, I've, I've not, I've left one screw in, um, but I'm not going to take off this back plate to access the top. I know for a full deconstruction, I'll have to take this off. But I think I can get away with what I want to do by just uh, obviously clipping that in and removing this. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, and then a ribbon cable to the slide out. Yes, you do. Woo. So we've just taken off the lid. Okay, this guy, so there was four, five cable connectors. Okay, so I've gone as far as I'm gonna go today. Um, because as far as I know, it's just the DVD drive that's out of alignment. So that's what I wanted to take a look at and I'm here. Um, and I can see that basically the pillars that support where the, um, the, the drive up to kind of like here have completely broken away. That's what the, all these plastic bits and, and, uh, and screws. Here we go. Here's, here's one of the broken pillars right here. Okay. Um, and uh, so they're completely broken, which is why it's collapsed. It's collapsed on itself. And the reason why it's raised up is that those guys are half there on the other side. And we can still see the remnants of the pillars just here. So we've got one bit of pillar there and then a bit there. And actually that one, you can see the exposed screw itself. All this like brilliant, like PC like construction, this big heavy metal drive, and they just got these crappy little plastic pillars. These crappy little plastic pillars to just hold it up like that in place. It, it's quite crazy when you think about it. So, <clears throat> if I can kind of like rebuild it, so when the drive, when I turn it on, the drive can stay like that, because that's what's happening. That's gone that side, so it's lopsided, but there's still some over here. So I'm not gonna go any further, because to go further, I would have to take this off, take the front off and take the back off. I'm not ready to go there just yet, especially when I don't need to, from what I understand. So I guess next steps, I'm gonna put this thing back together. I'm gonna try and find a way of supporting this drive temporarily. Um, and, uh, and I guess the most important part Let's find out if, like, one, it actually even powers on, and two, if it can even read discs, because that's another concern, is that whether or not the drive draw can open or not, can it actually read discs? So that's the next important thing before I go any further. 
To continue watching this series and check out all episodes of this little project, make sure you subscribe to my channel or follow the playlist for all episodes. As always, thanks for watching guys and see you again soon.